Hi, I'm Paul Wilkinson, and along with Sarah Plater, I'm the co-author of Mastering Portrait Photography. In the next minute or so, I'm going to describe how we took this image of Cassius in our studio uh, with a very Christmassy feel to it. The brief had come in that we had to create a Christmas image. It's not the kind of things I normally do, I have to be honest. So a little bit of thinking on my feet. Um, the idea was to get both a nicely lit picture of Cassius, but also a sense of Christmas, which is provided by Christmas lights. Uh, one of the problems you have with studio lighting, which is this is what we've lit this under, is that, of course, everything else goes dark. I don't know if you've ever tried shooting F16 at 180 per second, ISO 100, a fairly normal setting for a studio flash, uh, but you will find that uh, everything is black, even tungsten lights. So what you have to do is turn the power down to minimum on your uh, studio lights. I've got this Elinchrom BX400 down to two, which is as low as this particular light goes. I've got my camera settings, uh, from recollection, uh, down to about uh, low one, which is two under ISO 100 on my Nikon. And I've got it set to f5.6, f4.8, somewhere around there, which is as wide open as I can get it for this particular flash configuration. And I've got the shutter as slow as I dare take it. And that's really important because what I'm trying to do is when the flash fires, it illuminates the child, but the dragging the shutter, it's called dragging the shutter, that little bit longer, it's open that little bit, uh, allows a little bit more light to get in, is what's capturing the light from the fairy lights. And that's crucial. You cannot photograph lighting with really big aperture, sorry, really small apertures, really big numbers, f16, f22. You need the lens fairly wide open and you need a long exposure to be able to do it. Um, and so the, th the trick then is to hold the lens as steady as you can. We've got uh, Cassius stood on the end of our sofa, on the, on the end of the sofa, leaning over the back on the end of our chaise long, uh, which holds him steady so I know where he is relative to the light. And of course, his fascination with the lights when he wasn't trying to chew them. I hasten to add these are safe, they're battery powered, uh, so there shouldn't be any problem. Um, and then it's a case of looking for those little reactions where he's grinning and the light on his face is perfect. <laughs> 